What's happening, Captain? This is your boy CB Hunts. This is the Blitzway Fire Pro Studio Maker Hero Series number two, Inspector Gadget. Ooh, I didn't think I was going to tell that what I was stuttering as much. <laughs> but, yeah, I've been waiting for this figure since last year when they showed this at Toy Fair. Man, I had to get this figure because, like, this here is really part of my childhood. And even so, and that's one of the main reasons that I re uh, that I installed the app Tubi so I can be able to watch Inspector Gadget and 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 also so others as well. But yeah, this cartoon was off the chain. And fortunately, I did have the. Um, the uh, the uh, the whole the whole uh, deluxe package when at first, but at the time I didn't have enough for the deluxe package, so I scaled it down just to only him because mainly all the other figures are just are just figurines where you can just take a piece off and change it. This, but this right here is a whole action figure. I may I may pick those up later, but I'm not in a big rush. But this right here, I had to have. God damn right. And for a quick side note, this is not really, this is not really a spoiler, a spoiler warning or anything like that. But this is this is just a, a fun fact. I don't know it's a fun fact, but it, it's a it's a lore of Inspector Gadget. They say if you actually watch the first movie with a uh, with a with a at you um, what's the name at you uh, uh, Ardrick I think his name is but they they actually explore on his lore because before he became Inspector Gadget he was a, just a plain officer who got killed in the line of duty. Almost like Robocop. Got yeah, killed in line of duty, but they, they brought him back and they added all this special stuff in him. And just like in the actual first movie, he was a plain detective. Got hurt, got shot, but he was about to die. He didn't die in the movie, but he was about to die. So when they saved life, they added all this stuff in him. So but they just like Robocop, they wiped his wiped all of his memory that's why he don't remember everything that's why he ain't too smart in the actual show but they, they they're not gonna tell you that because it's a it's a kids episode so but the 80s cartoons did have a little darkness darkness to it he ain't lying. but if you want to find out more about those just look it up on google and trust me just just type in like hidden lore about Inspector Gadget and the stuff you'll find will blow your mind. He ain't lying. But when I hear about that, we hear about this figure. Like, this is how I look in the box. See, just a bit of pieces that not everything when it comes we can't really see them too well because it got like a little whole like of the, the, the plastic covering. We see Inspector Gadget on the front of the box. On the side of the box. Got him showing as well. Showing the suit the figure. The back of the box. So what all he comes with, how he looks, stuff you can be able to be able to uh do with him. Trust me, he comes with a lot. And on this side of the box, show a little bit more about the gadget, stuff you can be able to do. But trust me, when we get back, we're gonna have this bad boy out of the box. And we're gonna definitely gonna see what to do with the inspector gadget. And now, after about a couple, of, like about thirty minutes to an hour, kind of fooled around this this figure, finally got it out of the box. So everything it comes with, as you can see, it is a lot. Damn right. So 
when you get a chance, get your, get your snacks, some drinks. Trust me, this is going to be a long one. I can already tell already. But, first things first, before we get with the figure, come with everything it comes with. But the one thing I want to get out the way, because it's sitting right up front, is his stand. This is one of the stands in the deluxe set. You have all of them. Be able to make like one big road. So look, like pegs. You can be able to stand them on and hold the skates and hold them up. And with that same stand, comes with a piece here. You can hold them up. Yeah, to hold them up. You probably make them do flies like that. But you got to really tighten the screws up so it won't fall. Because once you put all that stuff on them. And try to do little stuff that he does, like like how it is on the picture here. I don't think this is gonna be able to hold him up because he is heavy. And some of these pieces are actually like uh, I cast metal, so I don't think it's gonna hold hold him up on this. So if you see pictures, if you see me with like with him and falling <laughs> flight stand. You know why? This <laughs> is so, but I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna still try to see if I can better uh, handle this instead, though. So yeah. So I had to move some of the stuff out the way because yeah, I'm gonna have to move stuff over. Whew. But first thing first, show with stuff on this side here. This side is kind of like I gotta show everything on him, and trust me, when I show everything off. I'll show it off. Well, let's just go how it goes. I'm gonna say I won't show it in here. This is gonna be a very long video. Me talking is making it very long, but yeah. As uh, with respect to gadget, comes with uh, coming a, a six pair of hand and an extra one extra. No, it comes with three pair of hands, three sets of hands, six <laughs> with a seventh hand. Looking off the chain, I like how it's looking. It's a little, little pointer, it always does. And this is more of his holding hands, so wherever he holds the uh, holds his like flashlights or magnifying glass or or is a helicopter. So like that as well. And with but try to move the light on a little bit. And there's other pair of hands here. As you can see, this is more of his his cell phone hands. When whenever whenever Quimby he calls, answer the phone. That you can see the little pieces of the you can zoom in right. Pieces of the pieces of the antenna and the mouthpiece on the hand. And this, as well as more of his screwdriver, he always uses. He uses a flathead, but I always see his there is his pointer finger. It's always it's pinky. I don't know why they got it on, on, on this finger. It always see it on his pinky. So, yeah. And the other pair of hands he got on him as well is is his fist. So. Other thing he comes with is his is his flashlight. So you like all red. You see, got a little your little lights like is on. I like how that looks. And got more of his um magnifying glass. This is off the chain, like this is actual magnifying glass. You can see right here. You can actually like burn some ants if you want, <laughs> but that, I know that's that's not right. But <laughs> and the other thing it comes with is his skates. These go go on the bottom of his foot. You see the peg right there on the foot. Whenever I talk about gadget, I will show all different stuff of where he puts everything on. I'm just showing you right now. Uh, it looks with and with uh spread the gadget it has a badge and see it does not close but stays open you can be able to have the part where it comes out of his hat it does have a device 
do that or you can have it in his hands. But it's always, every time I see him, he always have it like out of his hat. So it's very detailed, all black, all black plastic. That little badge right there. It was as if it just, it was just focused. And speaking of his hats, come with two pieces here. This is more of his the top of hat you can take off. This is more for his his his, his copter. Whole piece go in there for the go in, and the handles go in, and the top part comes off. We put that in, and trust me, I will show that as as I go along with him. And this is the other part of his hat, which is zoom in. Showing off the two holes, quite nice. You can have I got different arms. You gotta put you either use one or two, right there. And we'll spread the gadget. You come with like two, two like two, two sets of faces, but I think he's supposed to have three. But the third face I think is is is, is in that more de deluxe set. I'm going to have to look at a review to see if it comes with that third face. Because on the back of the box, he makes a different face showing off his, his like, his, like, concerned look. All they got right now is his plain face, as you can see on the figure. And this, as well as his, his smiling face. And you see got different eyes. He got three sets of eyes. One that's already on, one that's on. Let me look to the left, and all you do is come off real easy. Just uh, pull it. Hold on, I want to scratch the eyeballs out. Hold on, real quick. Trying to take them off without scratching up the pupils. Wish they would have gave a tool. Well, is it probably got a tool, but I didn't look to see. Take them off, but it's not coming off like the way I want. There it goes. Over there, scratch off the first thing. As you can see, eyes come out. And come with the other set of eyes and look, look the opposite way. Can't really see it. Sorry about the zooming when I pause this with a certain spot I will fix the camera where you can show more even clear but it's the other eyes you do just slip that right on in to the top of the head push that on down and voila so give me a few seconds let me re re we adjust everything because how I got my camera is not really zooming in like how I really want it. Try to show off everything in the, in the actual sh shot. So, just give me a, a second. Be right back. Okay, now I readjust the camera. Now, showing off different pieces. Now, when we gadget, he has what he calls go go gadget legs. This is part of his legs at the bottom. Show more of a spring when he jumps high. It doesn't have anything that like makes it bigger, so this is only far as it goes. And it's actually a real spring, as you can see. So it actually moves. Probably can hear my phone. I'm oh, sorry about that. Um, so this is how it looks. Look at off chain. I think this, I think this is like I cast metal. The foot comes off piece at the bottom of the whole part you gotta you gotta have the foot in a certain way had this in a certain way but peg everything in once we get the gadget we're gonna show everything how, how we hook all this up oh, drop one drop two <laughs> so and these are the other pieces this is more of his head springs got a piece for the head joint and a piece for the neck because when you take off the head it has a peg in the neck separates goes from his body and his head so this is the piece right here that goes 
Oh, right there. And this is one of the pieces that goes with his hands. So, you need to either have his hands extremely long. Or, you need to have them extremely short. Either way you want to go. Or you can have them like, one long and one sh 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 short. The, oh, these these pieces here are not die cast metal. These are more of a a plastic, like with, with a a chrome paint on it. And speaking of extra arms, had these two right here. Like I showed you, the hat has the two holes on top. You can either put either part in there. This is the part that goes in the part of the hat. It pegs in. Each one of these arms are adjustable, as you can see. Move them around. And they're very stiff. I like that. So it won't be like if you have it a different way, it's not gonna like be moving around as much. And this is the end that you put the these are the hands or anything else at the end. Sorry about that. Not in the camera. But the hands in right there. And the other thing I like with this is his, his umbrella. This is one of this armored umbrella with a plastic end. But this is, is a stainless steel, not stainless steel, but like die cast metal piece. And you can see the umbrella piece here, called plastic hollow. You just peg this in like so. And there you go. I wish they had the part where you can put it in. Because if you notice on some parts of the episode when he falls. Yes he falls with an umbrella. But it will also do this number here as well. It will flip. It will flip under and he will just, just fall. So I wish they had like a peg. You can actually put on an umbrella and do it like that as well. So wherever he just falls he just falls. So I wish they had that. And up next is one of the last parts to show off the different stuff. But I want to show that last because that's one of my favorite parts that he has. It is part of his is a Ogo Gadget Copter. And this is the part that goes in the hat. More of a more of a plastic piece. You got different edges. Put the blades on. Blades on. And these are the three blades. Right here, you can choose either or as I'm putting them on to each one. Have them pegged in already. So I'm right hitting the camera. So this is how it looks. The blade, you see, it's pretty big compared to him. We got them on top. So that looks good right there. And with respect to gadget, that part of the hat I showed you, these are the two handlebars that goes in the hat. Each one has a peg. As you can see, it goes in the hat. One is for the uh, left side and right, right side. In there, and this is all stainless steel or I guess metal. I don't, I don't know which one it is, but this is it right here. So. When we get back, we gonna see what to do with the inspector gadget. Now, let's take a look at the old professor gadget. And I must say, this is like awesome work bringing that cartoon to life. It's like a spinning image of this I can hear that famous voice from the old school cartoon was also was was based off an old show called 
called a, get a, a it's smart and by the same actor I can't think of the name but I will put a picture in the name right here was the same actor that did the voice was the voice of Inspector so you ever watch the show and see the cartoon it's the same it's the same dude so I always thought that was kind of tight so they based an animated cartoon off him since he was more of a since he's more of like a animated actor so this here was perfect so you can tell by the face nose and a smile just the simplistic look he was, he, he was not all that bright I'm telling you he had all that technology and half computer like basically an android at this point but they didn't get, they didn't really give him intelligence or, or like or, or, or like lack thereof and if you notice on certain episodes whenever Gadget always asks at the end hey Penny I didn't know that you were here oh the chief they must have brought you here the chief and Penny always look at each other like, like our theory is Inspector Gadget didn't have no family they implanted Penny who's an older person that's posing as his, as his as his niece to kind of kind of look look over him make sure all the gadgets work as long as she has that book she better check everything out with and and brain I think is some kind of a, like a experiment they use because because like he's still a dog but I think they got like a like a, a, a chip in his head because that dog small he got that and 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 he also has that collar. So I don't think I don't think like Penny is his niece. I think she's also a agent that looks that looks young that's that's helping out Quimby. And Claw always think it's gadget stopping his stuff, but it's mainly it's mainly Penny and uh, and and a and a brain that stops everything. Gadget stops nothing he like he just he, he just decoy for like for like her you really pay attention to the show it's like it's like she's a star and like and like and like he's a decoy but that's just my little theory he ain't lying on with the spit the gadget figure it's a trench coat like even though it's a hard material, but it still got like a soft feel, and it's the same material as this. It's more of a soft feel too. Like I like this is detail of the, the trench coat, like how it is in the '80s. Got the got the little has a little flap in the back. <laughs> Blue pants and his famous shoes with the big toes, looking like like clown sh sh shoes. I really do like the figure, and he got the hair on perfect with the little swish going in the back, everything else. So, with respect to Gadget, we're going to do with the show off articulation with Spectre. Spectre in with his head joining, he got a little a peg going in his neck and his head, so he got that extra movement. Look all the way up, as you can see. Look extremely down. Got a good head tilt. As you can see, you got something like that. Arms can go high, as you can see. He had the old biceps with, but he does have joints in his elbows. He has a, a single elbow, has a hinge in the wrist. Fist turns all the way around. Doesn't have an ab joint, but he does have waist movement right in here, so he turns up to right here. You can do the splits so far because the trench coat does hold it back this side more than this side. But it does have a single knee. Go back that far. Ankle. You really can't really go back and it'll come off. But it can go up a little bit as well. And he does not have just a little bit of ankle rocker. Just a tiny little bit. But like not much to be a big difference. But with this figure here, I'm telling you. 
this figure is off the chain. Now we're going to show the pieces, showing how everything on. First thing I want to show off first is the extra head joints. All you do is just take the head off right here. It easily slips right off, as you can see. Has a different peg joint. Moves around up in there. This neck piece comes out. Got the same thing. And let's take. Oh, that fell down. <laughs> they, they roll a lot, a lot. And then you just pop that in the hole right here. You can see. And take the other piece and pop it. Let me get it off camera so I can better get it in there. Right there, looking off the chain. And with these pieces here, I forgot to say, it, had, it also have a bendy wire in them. So you can be able to move the head around all you want to do. So you want them to lean to the side, you can. Same thing with this side, you can. Other way, how it looks on as well. But, I forgot to do one thing when I dropped it at first. Sorry about hitting the camera. So let me get this piece here off the floor for his for his spring legs. Now I got him in hand. Finish all the feet. You just pop this piece off here, different pegs, and you just take that same piece. As you can see here, line it up inside the peg here. There you go there. And the way the peg is, just well, don't have it on right. There you go, just same square. The foot is, line it up. And there you go. legs and like I said it does spring it actually works Oop, pop off but but like I said it actually works so you can see it works so I do love the way this looks but to show you is extra hat this piece I'm just gonna take this off for few minutes Put it down. This piece comes off up top. See where the hole is. And let's take this hat here. I'm gonna show for the extra arms. Make sure it's in all the way. Show that off. Extra arms. You take each piece that you want. Make sure I had the piece right. I think I said the, the fat part goes in there, and I was wrong. The fat part does not go in there. That's the more the side where the, the more thinner piece goes in the hat. So I make sure it gets in there good because I don't want to break this stuff. It costs me a lot. <laughs> I said, here it goes. Different hands. Let me put on, me put on a hand. I should show how it's one of the hands in. Wish I had more like extra limbs because he sometimes he would do this like you know, these, but uh, I know this ain't the hand for it by just sh sh showing you how it looks with all the extra hands and now 
show off. The other part is the piece of the hat that goes to make to make his copter. Like I said, just peg this in. Make sure it's in all the way. And just take that piece of that copter. As you can see, peg that right on in. Make sure it's in good. There it goes. And with the two handlebars, gotta let me make sure which side it is. I try to put the handlebars in mine, and I don't know if mine will not go in right. Something I don't want to keep on fooling with and messing anything up, so I'm gonna try to see if I can work on it. Hopefully, by the time I take my pictures. I'll be able to get everything fixed, but like, yeah, fix that part there. So, but we will move on, show off different parts to be able to use. And just like a Spectre Gadget, you can see, he got his hat, he always have multiple things coming out of his head, and he also has his skates all the time too. So, kind of tight, and he does roll with the skates. Quite nice. Trying to get him to stand, but you know, he's a little top heavy. I'm gonna stand too well. Ah! Up. <laughs> yeah, kind of figured that was gonna happen. But, all in all, like I said, expect the gadget to off the chain. Luckily, when skates start to roll, come out how my stand is. <laughs> A little, a little wonky, but happy accidents. Ain't it, Rob Bob? Happy accidents. But all in all, like I said, he's pretty off the chain, though. I like him a lot. And now we come part of the video to show off a little, show how he stacked up to other figures that I got, but not in the same way but you know just to see how tall he is with uh, everyone else up first you see how he stack up next to the to the to the Mesco's two pack of the Popeye and Ludo kinda like how this looks both like the old school type of cartoons that I like Popeye more a little more a little bit more old school than then uh inspect the gadget, but I still love them both. Up next, I think this is a McFallen Toys or I can't remember which company it is. You know me in 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 post production I'm gonna put what it is at the end. And this is the the Star Trek the uh, the uh, ex Generation Captain John Luke Picard. See how he stacks up next to him. See how tall Picard is compared to respect the gadget. Looking off the chain, like I said by Bluto, not around the same same element. Well, I think think uh, Star Trek did start in the eighties, I believe. So yeah, even then I was watching this back then. And last and certainly not least, coming from that same two two pack, is the is the, is the Mesco Popeye showing off between these two as well. Looking off the chain, one of the two franchises I do do love, and you can see how short a Popeye is to expect the gadget. So you know, expect the gadget was probably like a a, a, a a taller character. So this is how they both look as well. And this is my review of the Blitzway Fire Pro Studio uh, Mega Hero Series Number Two Inspector Gadget. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Had a fun time making it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. And trust me, your boy will be taking some pictures of this bad boy. Man, the ideas I want to do, 
and show off all the different stuff we can be able to do with this figure. If you want to check those out, I will be taking pictures and putting those in, put that on my Instagram. Here it is right here. It will link down below. And this is your boy CB Hunts. Hope you have a blessed one because I will catch you in that next one. Peace.